This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, the Game Boy Geek here. Today we're going to look at something totally different. This has a great story where a Danish carpenter was in his workshop creating a game of his own and gave some to his friends for Christmas. It blew up, it went crazy, and a year or two later they got Game of the Year in Europe in a lot of places. Uh, this is called Clask, which is a dexterity game. It's sort of like, it feels a little bit like air hockey and with soccer and foosball all sort of put together. It's hard to explain, but I'm going to show you how it's played, and then I'm actually going to play it for you because it's very quick, very unique. Let's take a look. In class, you're trying to be the first person to get up to six points. It comes with a nice bag that keeps all the components in there. And it comes with a little marble, some three little magnets here. Uh, everybody has, each person has basically a player that's on top of the board. And this strong magnetic force keeps these together. And this goes underneath the board. So I will place this underneath the board and I'm locked in. And I can move this from underneath the board. And you can see, even if it's far away, it'll just come right up here. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to get six points and there's four ways to get points. If I get this marble into this goal and it stays there, I get a point and we reset and we keep going. Another way to get a point is if these little things are going to be going around and getting stuck to the opponent. If two of the three get stuck to the opponent, I get a point and then we reset the board like this. All of them like that. The other ways you can get a point is if, for some reason, this player goes into his own goal, even if he can get himself out, which sometimes you can, as soon as he goes in there, the game stops and I would get a point. And the last way you can get a, get a point is once in a while, this guy will just go fl flying across the, the, uh, you know, the board and he can't get it back because in the middle of here, underneath is a wood. So your hand cannot go past about the middle line underneath the board. And that's how you play. So let's show you in real time how this works. And the game starts with a corner kick for the youngest player. Oh, oh. oh see, okay, so he got in the goal. So that's one and nothing, and this gets reset, and the losing player gets to start a corner kick from either side. It's getting some stuff on there. Dog hair. Dog hair. So I can try to get it in the goal, or I can try to push those white magnetic pieces, because remember, if two, of, if two out of those three stick to him, uh, I get a point. So I can be trying to push those pieces right to him like I am right now. Oh. Oh, see, I got one stuck to him right... Oh! 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 I had him stuck, and then my guy got stuck in the goal. So he gets a point, and then we reset. So I had him where I wanted, and I, by accident, just went to the goal. Now, you can go behind it, but I... This I, I was, couldn't see it. Oh, oh! My gosh, what's wrong with me? I went right in my goal again. Alright, so we will restart this. And you gotta make sure when you put these here, the... The, the little... The little, uh... You can see a little... Circle. Yeah, a little circle has to be up. Oh, great. So I want to stay away from that white thing. I'm on, I'm on your left. All right. And... Oh! oh. It didn't stay there. But he has to get rid of it. He's probably going to hit that white thing. Oh, yeah. oh no! <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Got myself stuck in the goal. There you go. And I get to do a corner kick. Come on. Oh, oh, I got him stuck on one. Dang it. Oh, look at that. Right near your, it's right in your goal. Yeah! Two. That was dangerous. Either way, I could have been screwed on that one. All, All right. right, corner kick from him. It's three to two. You play a six. Uh-oh. Ooh, I pushed the right way. Oh. Ah, yeah, I got stuck Dang. to him. It's like air hockey. It's really cool. Air hockey and like football. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh! I had got one stuck, but I got it, so it's now tied three to three. We're halfway through. It's really crazy how they move. It's like they just float. It's really well made. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's super delicate. It is. It's but... amazing how. Oh, oh yeah. It's. Oh, yeah! yeah! It's very. It just floats. It's really well made for sure. 
Oh yeah, like again, it's like who's who's ball and like table hockey. All just combined. leave it go. It says those those things just stay over there. Oh uh, yeah, five, and I will get that last piece that just fell off. Okay, now in that in that bag, it gave you an extra one mm -hmm. um, in case you lose it. But and an extra ball too. And an extra ball. So okay, right. corner kick for Ben, and I'm only one point away from winning. Ah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, well I get the white one and he's gonna get stuck. He's gonna Oh no! Yeah. Oh, I got stuck in the goal! I had you right where I wanted you! Oh I love this. Oh my I love gosh! This game. I so, had you! It's so swingy, I love it. Uh, you do a corner uh, no, oh, uh, do. I do a corner kick. Gosh, I had you right when I wanted you. I had I had the white things over there. Yeah. Oh, and it's tied five to five, ladies and gentlemen, for the last round. Uh oh, he's pushing the white little thing. Oh, oh, oh! Oh no, he's got the white on both the ah! Oh, it oh. can stay! Oh! Let me see if I get the. Yeah! Ah, dang it! That was <laughs> awesome. Now, as you can tell from the reactions of Ben and I as we were playing this, this game is fun. Whenever you come to a review a game, in the end, is it fun or not? This is fun. It's unlike anything, it's unlike exactly anything you've ever played, but it's kind of like many things that you've played. And the coolest thing, I think, is you've got that magnet underneath and you're moving it around and people that are watching this are like watching these things move and they're seeing you move and the fact that you can see the pieces moving but you can't really see the person's hand makes it a spectacle for viewers. But then as you're playing, it's, it's fun, it's like, it's simple. I'm trying to get the ball into your net, but I can, into that little hole, but I can push those magnetic pieces into you and i think if those little white magnetic pieces weren't there it just would have been okay it would have been an average game at best but you add those little white pieces and it's like okay i'm trying to get the ball in there but i can mess with him and shoot those white pieces onto his side and when they get stuck it's like oh that's awesome and you're trying to block it but you don't want to fall on your own goal you saw me do that a couple times it's tricky it's fun it's quick as you saw it took us what like five minutes to play that game I, I could definitely see, I'm going to be keeping this because I, it's so unique. I could bring it to family gatherings. This is one of those things you can just set up on a table and people will just go to it just because they're intrigued about, well, what is this thing? And it's very easy to play. Anybody can play it. I can see having tournaments of this at family gatherings. I can see bringing this and just setting it up at my break table at work and just leaving it there. Let people have little tournaments there. I think this is awesome. I think it's about 60 bucks retail in the United States. I think there's only one online retailer they have an exclusive agreement till until next year. I think it's like Marbles or something like that is the name of the retailer. But this is a fun game. It's not something I typically would have bought or played normally, but I'm glad I did because it's a lot of fun. Uh, you saw us erupting over and over. It's just a fun dexterity game. If you're into one of these things, or even if you're not, and you've always wanted to add one to your collection, this would be one to do because it's fun, unique, different, uh, all of those things, and it has a great story behind it. So that is Clask, and since I am keeping it, I'm going to do a saxophone serenade for it right now. <laughs> This video was sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.